Cool. I think we're recording. Um, well, to start off, go. I'll go re-download these actually. Uh, get off of Stunted, and go down. Where are they at? Mods, Manx twenty nineteen. So you want that car viewer X files? Go and download these. Download as a zip file. There's my Heat 5 stuff. These should take very long to download, but internet speed is very slow, so. Should be done here any second now. And boom, we're done like that. Go and extract these. I could use 7-zip if I wanted to. You just extract them wherever you want. Now, the nice thing about these is they come in, they're all different folders and stuff. And for this example, we'll just go ahead and use the Camaro. So right here, this is the file you want to use. This is an OBJ file. This is what you're going to use to render. So we'll go ahead and just open up Blender right here. Maybe not. I don't think Blender is... I don't think it wants to cooperate. Okay, well, let's try... Uh, let's just open up one of these real quick and then just go and delete everything off, out of it. So. I'm still in cycles. So this is the car. Uh, we'll just go ahead and delete that. Delete all this stuff because you won't have any of this. You only have a light and a camera. That's it. So if you've already went ahead and extracted these, don't worry about that. Um, go over here to the file tab. Go to import and then go over down to the OBJs. And when you have that, um, if you want to go to your downloads, which where they should be, or if you move them wherever they are, Manx 2019, Manx Cap 19, go into Camaro, and boom, there it is, OBJ file. Now it comes out like this, very rough. But let's build a render scene. So over here, we want to go add, mesh, and plane. Then we'll just go ahead and actually we'll just where'd it go? Okay, so we'll just press S and then use our mouse to scale it up. Then we'll grab the car again and it will use these arrows to lower the car. Make sure it's not clipping to the ground. There's our car. We have it on the render scene. Now for if you're gonna do so if you go over here to render properties render engine cycles is the one to make it a little bit higher quality but ev is the one if you want it to not look like this every single time you move so just leave an ev for now but if you're going to be an ev what you want to do for each and every single one of these materials scroll down and click the back face cooling and you'll see immediately how all this clipping and stuff will go away do for each and every single one of these. Shouldn't take too long. Don't worry. It might actually take a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but that's all right. But once you do this one time and you save your your uh, scenes, you don't got to do this ever again unless you decide to throw a different car on the scene. Still going here. This should be the last one because these are the tires. Yep. Then what we want to do to make this a little bit easier, look for the windows. So these are the windows, material 148.001. Um, Scroll down to the alpha. And then I would say we turn it right there-ish, 3.62. 
Then underneath back face cooling, blend mode, alpha blend. You see windows are now clear. Scroll back up, turn the roughness all the way down, turn the metallic up just a tiny, tiny bit. Now, the car looks really rough still. And uh, if you want to get rid of that, you go over to this little green triangle thingy, turn off auto smooth, and then you go to this gear wrench, add modifier, edge split, sharp edges, and boom, just like that. It's good to go. Now let's build a render scene around this. Control C and Control V. Move the lights. And then grab one last light and move it over here. And boom. Now if you go back to the Camaro, for me personally, I don't like this roughness on the Camaro. So what I'm going to do, if you want any paint to come out really, really nice, I would remove the roughness probably about to 0.1 as much as you can and specular to 0.5. Just like that. It looks nice. And for paint stuff, just go ahead and open up GIMP here. And we'll go ahead. Uh, I've already downloaded some templates for these. Um, we'll just use one that I've already made. Here we go. It's a William Byron Exalta uh, concept. So once you've made your template and stuff or made your paint, on here um, you can actually do uh, adjustments like on the fly too if you here I'll show so you're gonna go ahead and save this as a dot TGA file so dot TGA works on both Photoshop and GIMP once you have that saved what you want to do, make sure you click on the base and then base color, let's say card.bmp. Go to image right here, image texture, click on that. Then you'll have a little folder thing over here. Click on this desktop or wherever the heck you saved it. And Byron 2021concept.tga. Click on that. There's your paint. And you can just keep uploading it over and over and over again if you want to change stuff on it and whatnot and see what it looks like on the actual car. Now let's get some photos of this thing. Click the camera and then if you have a number pad, click zero. And then over here, op object properties. This, these will uh, help you move the camera, move it over side to side, front and back, up and down. This will like up and down rotating side to side rotating and this is side to side rotating spinning in a circle I guess I don't I don't know so let's go ahead and create a quick render here uh, what I like to do actually is Make a render here in Eevee, uh, the render engine. Go ahead and click F12. It'll bring up this little thing. And I'll just keep, well, actually, let's center this a little bit more. That's perfect. OK, so if you just want to leave an Eevee and do the easy way, here you go. That, that's your photo. And go over to Image, Save As, and then you go save it wherever you want name it, do all that stuff. But if you want to go the extra mile and make it look really, really good. Now you may see all those clipping and stuff, but don't worry. If you go up here to the little circles, click the one that's like all gray, then you have this. Go over here to the um, top left where it says object mode. Okay, maybe Okay, there we go. You have to click on the Camaro. Uh, edit mode. 
then you have all this stuff. And what you want to do is go over to these little two circles going inside of each other that show overlays. Click on the little drop down arrow and then click face orientation. Now with here, it'll show all the uh, orange is what's clipping through the body. The body is a blue. So what you want to do is click on one of these nodes, control L and then H it'll hide all that. And you click on the orange control L and then press delete and then vertices and boom, there you go. Then you do it for all the uh, control L H and then control L delete. And just like that, it's just deleting stuff on the fly, which we'll go ahead and control L. Oh, that's the wrong one. Control L, H, and then control L, delete. So your car is pretty bland, I would say, maybe. Got like nothing really going on anymore because you hit everything, but to fix that, actually, let me control L and then delete, boom. And then to get all that stuff back, you press Alt H and boom, all that stuff is back. Then you come back in here, turn off face orientation, by the way, that'll help a little bit. Then you press zero on your number pad again, go back to object mode and press F12. With um, cycles, what it does is it builds the uh, it builds the photo a little bit differently and it takes a little bit longer. It's a little bit heavier on stuff, but it for the most part it works pretty good. So you see it'll build its stuff right here. It's doing um, whatever. I don't know what it's doing right now, honestly. All I know is just it's making a photo. And once this is done, obviously you can save it as a photo or whatever you want to do with it. So once this is saved, go ahead and save the image as per usual. I would recommend as soon as you're done with this, switch it back to EV so it doesn't blow up your computer because yeah, that would not be good. But once you have that, basically you can do it to all NASCAR 2003 racing season uh, car viewer X files as long as they are an OBJ. And if they have, if they are an OBJ file, but they don't have any of this texturing stuff for the interior and whatnot, then you're gonna have to do it manually. So whenever you do that, just go down here, base color, image texture, go find it and put it on there manually. It's not that bad. Now, Maybe in another video, if you want, I can show how to like mess with objects and shape them and stuff and lower the spoilers and turn the wheels on them and remove the hood, which is pretty easy. Actually, I might as well just do it now. Control L and then go over to the move thing and just like that. And boom. Got no hood. Go over here to the spoiler. Control L, and then you go to sizing. Use a blue one if you want to lower the spoiler thing. Then do all that stuff, you know. And that's another thing that will help too, which if you're if you know how to design stuff and do all that stuff, you will already know this. But press Control Z, it'll reset stuff. It'll like undo stuff. So that's very helpful too. But other than that. That's all you need to know to render to NASCAR 2003 racing season Carview X files.